so welcome one and all today we are discussing the topic of tooth preparations for so today's topic of the seminar welcome one and all from the mahatma gandhi vidya mandir karma bhairav pati nire dental college and hospital panchori nasik so today i am going to give a seminar on the topic of principle of tooth preparations first we come to the introduction the teeth do not have possess the regenerative ability found in the most other tissues like their once enamel or dentin is lost as a result of caries trauma or wear the restorative material must be used to reestablish the form and the function the teeth require preparation to receive restoration and all this preparation must based on the fundamental of the principles indication for the fixed partial prosthesis is the first patient must be a proper age like a 20 to 50 years good healthy sound tooth structure and the oral hygiene should be good a replace smaller edentulous area a rich condition should be within the normal good alveolar support the number of abutment teeth should be equal to the number of pontic to be replaced in comes to the antis law then the periodontal Periodontal condition should be favorable. The ninth one is the general health of the patient should be at least fair. Most on the, mostly on the vital tooth. Then the contraindication, improper age, too young may be endanger a pulp to old, may cause loss of the teeth due to the functional or the brittleness of the teeth. Then the second is the poor oral hygiene. excessive ridge reduction when the alveolar support is less than 2/3 root length is like a <clears throat> crown root ratio is the 1 is to ideally there is a 1 is to 1.5 and then there is a minimally is a 1 is to 1 is a acceptable like is a crown is 1 and root is a, so like a 50 50% ratio then the malformed teeth then out in favorable occlusions like a deep bite cross bite or the class 2 or the class 3 in this uh, unfavorable occlusion like uh, then the periodontal condition is unfavorable the non vital root the teeth with arthritis or the uh, fracture or ill is fracture classification then the hypersensitive tooth the hypersensitivity occur due to the uh, loss of the enamel and the dental when the enamel and dental were lost the dentinal tube used to be exposed when the, there is a hot and cold uh, <clears throat> they may be sensitive on the hot and cold and then the principles of tooth preparation divided into the three broad categories like biological consideration mechanical consideration and the aesthetic consideration in biological consideration which affect the health of the oral tissue in this category there is a biological consideration and second one is the mechanical consideration there is the which affect the integrity and durability of the restoration then third one is the aesthetic consideration which affect the appearance of the patient all three factor are equally important if the impo- improvement in the area will adversely affect the another first one is the biological consideration in tooth preparation the structures easily damaged are the adjacent teeth soft tissue and the pulp of the tissue when the uh, tooth when we when we prepare the tooth when cut the excess amount of uh, enamel or dentin the tooth may, uh, may be or might be exposed uh, pulp then the prevention of the damage during the preparation there is adjacent teeth during the tooth preparation proximal surface of the adjacent tooth may get damaged so we must be care not damage the adjacent tooth for the this use of the matrix band around the adjacent tooth sometimes matrix band may be perforated and damage the tooth so when we prepare the adge- uh, when we prepare the tooth and the adjacent whenever we prepare the adjacent uh, we prepare the tooth we never damage the adhesion tooth because of the we damage the adhesion tooth they might be the uh, form, uh, the formation of the caries and uh, before formation of the caries there is a 
uh, food lodgement, there is a plant accumulation, there is a then calculus formation, then the carries uh, starting the uh, tooth with the decade. <clears throat> then ultimately, when we uh, never saw its uh, in a, uh, never saw then the tooth might be go for the root canal treatment. So when we pre preparation at the time of preparation, we must care about the adjacent tooth. <clears throat> the prepared method is to use for proximal enamel or prepared tooth for the protection of the adjacent tooth. In this method, we will slightly cook the fine and enamel without causing the excess tooth reduction. Then soft tissue. Damage of the tongue cheek can be prevented by careful retraction with the aspirator tips, mouth mirror, and the plant salivary injector. Or you can uh, take the help of the your assistant or the co-pg while the uh, preparation of the tooth. Then pulp. many factors during the tooth preparation like temperature, chemical irritation, microorganism can cause the irreversible pul uh, pulpitis. Before tooth preparation, pulp size must be considered. Pulp, uh, pulp decreases with the age. Whenever we prepare a tooth, there is a uh, before we have to take the X-ray uh, to check the where uh, pulp is uh, exact, exactly appear uh, at the how much height uh, you have to take a preparation. So. Before you start preparation, you check the X-ray. When the temperature considerable heat is generated by the friction between the instrument and the tooth surface. So coolant used with the high speed hand keys, more pressure during the preparation increase the temperature so light that uh, touch is required. Particular care is taken when the preparation of grooves, pinholes, because coolant can not reach the cutting edge of the burr. So coolant is a very very important in this because if the coolant is not properly <clears throat> uh, while the tooth preparation they might got the heat of the tooth may cause the <clears throat> pulpitis or the pulp exposed. Then chemical action the chemical action of the certain dental material can cause pulp damage particularly when they apply. Uh, freshly cut dentin. The cavity ornament is effective barrier in most instances. Then the bacterial action. Sulfur damage sometimes occur due to the bacteria because of the while we are uh, <clears throat> exerting the caries, the enamel dentin and the uh, caries are too deep. So Ultimately, the pulp gets exposed. Sometimes bacteria are not completely removed from the food due to the micro leakage. Today, many of dental material have antimicrobial properties, but it's a, it is the most important to remove all carrier parts before restoration to be placed. Conservation of tooth structure. One of the basic principles of tooth preparation is to conserve the most tooth structure as possible consistent with the Mechanical and aesthetic principle of the tooth preparation. Use of the partial coverage rather than the complete coverage restoration. Nowadays, in trending, there is a minimal invasive tooth is available in the market, like the on legs tooth. When the after root canal treatment, you can uh, take the impression like uh, you can choose the only preparation or over the full crown. Preparation with uh, minimum coverage angle between the axial wall. Preparation of the occlusal surface so re reduction follows the anatomical plan to give the uniform thickness of the restoration. Selection of the conservative margins compatible with the other principle of the tooth preparation. Then the avoidance of the unnecessary apical extension of the preparation. Then the anatomical prepared occlusal surface result in adequate occlusal clearance without the excess tooth reduction. The first one is insufficient reduction and the excessive reduction. Then the excessive taper result in the considerable loss of the tooth structure. <clears throat> Whenever you prepare the tooth, the taper, ideal taper should be uh, like a 68 degree. Uh, 
it is given in the book but uh, whenever the we prepare a course the technician is uh, well not known about the how much papers we give but clinically there is a 25 to 30 papers uh, we will give the anatomical preparation of the occlusal surface result in an adequate occlusal clearance without an excessive tooth reduction there is insufficient reduction and the second one is the excessive reduction you can see in the first image there is a first there is a insufficient reduction if you give the insufficient reduction so while a lab technician might be taking the wax pattern there is a improper of the height so may cause the uh, damage the anatomical structure or not getting proper the anatomical structure in the second image there is the excess preparation while the you uh, do the excess reduction they may cause the problems in the retention and the heaviness of the tooth the tooth is a more bulkier then consideration of affecting further dental health improper tooth preparation may be have adverse effect on the long term dental health obviously for example insufficient axial reduction inevitably result in over counter restoration that hamper the plaque control inadequate occlusal reduction may result in occlusal dysfunction and the poor margin placement may lead the skip in a month or the curse fracture the first one is the axial reduction gingival inflammation around crown or abutment teeth because of inadequate axial reduction so patient is unable to clean area around the gingival margin so sufficient axial reduction must be offered particularly interproximal and the purgation area where the gingival inflammation starts margin placement whenever the possible the margin of the preparation should be supra gingival because sub gingival margins may cause periodontal problem it may interrupt the epithelial attachment and the supra gingival margin easy to make supra gingival margins given on the enamel sub gingival margin given at the dentin or the cementum whenever the tooth preparation in the anterior region you have to replace the anterior teeth so the margins of the tooth is depends on the material of the tooth which you are going to use like a whenever you going to use the uh, zircon or the uh, porcelain so the margins ideally the margins should be kept equi gingival or the supra gingival the replacing the anterior teeth because of the uh, in the sub gingival margin uh, sorry uh, sub gingival margin to be placed uh, to uh, for the aesthetic reason then the advantage of the supra gingival margin that is easily finished easily clean impression easily make because of there is no uh, retraction of the uh, gingiva like uh, with the gingival cord then the restoration can be easily evaluated to recall the patient because the supra gingival margin is much easier than the uh, sub gingival margins because you can see the uh, op- uh, eyes uh, then the indication of the sub gingival margin then anterior region were aesthetic in the prime consideration yes i told you in last slide there is a sub gingival margin where the aesthetic is the prime consideration then the cervical caries cervical erosion or restoration of extended sub gingival then the crown lining procedure is not possible the proximal contact area extend the gingival face when the additional retention is required and then root sensitivity cannot be controlled by the more conservative approach if the height of the crown is less then ideally you have to do a crown lining procedure or a, you have to do the height of the tooth should be increased because of the anterior loss the perimental area of the abutment tooth is equal or the more than the uh, adjacent tooth 
so ideal ratio for the replacement of the uh, two is like a, a ratio is the one is to one is for the minimum then the margin adaptation the junction between the cemented restoration and the tooth is always potential side for the recurrent care is because of the disocclusion of the luting cement and inherent roughness margin must be smooth and even the rough irregular or stress junction gently increase the length and reduce the adaptation of the restoration then margin geometry guideline for the margin design easy for preparation without over extension easily identified easily identifiable in the impression impression on the die a distant boundary which the wax pattern can be finished then sufficient bulk of the material then the conservation of the tooth prepare tooth structure the difference margin design there is a feather edge or the shoulder edge then the chisel edge chamfer bevel shoulder slope shoulder and the bevel shoulder in the feather edge or the shoulder edge should be avoided because it fails to provide adequate bulk of bulk to the margin more contour restoration because of technical can be handled only increase the bulk beyond the version counter then chisel edge chisel edge is nearly same as the feather edge in chisel edge there is a larger angle between the edge surface and the unprepared tooth surface this type of margin is associated with the more taper which is not correctly aligned with the long axis of the tooth then the indication occasionally occasionally on the tilted feet under most circumstances feather edge and chisel edge are the unacceptable there is a chamfer chamfer is the most finish line you now in the dentistry a chamfer margin is particularly suitable for the cast metal restoration and the metal portion of the metal ceramic restoration most important instrument for the making chamfer is a tapered diamond with the rounded tip for preparation preparing chamfer the bar should be held precisely in the intended path of the withdrawal of the restoration tilting it away from the tooth create an undercut and tilting towards the tooth lead to over reduction and loss of the retention the chamfer should be wider up to 3 mm the advantage of the chamfer finish line is the distant and readily identified to provide a room for adequate bulk of the material can be placed with the precision and this advantage can be needed to avoid the unsupported leak of the enamel This is the chamfer finish line. Chamfer finish line preparation of the chamfer with the tapered diamond bar and rounded tip. This is a taper rounded bar, and the taper should be given like a straight degree. You can see in the second third image. The bar used for the chamfer is also known as a torpedo bar or a taper end bar. tilting a <clears throat> chamfer margin tilting away from the tooth create an undercut tilting towards the tooth result excessive coverage convergence sorry then the bevel some circumstances as a beveled margin is more suitable for the cast restoration particularly when the ledge or shoulder already exists possibly from the dental caries cervical erosion and the previous restoration this is the objective for the bevel margins to allow the cast metal margin to be continue and burnish against the repaired tooth structure to minimize the marginal discrepancy to protect unprepared tooth structure from the chipping then indication facial margin of the maxillary partial cover the restoration should be bevel to protect the remaining tooth structure and allow for the burnishing this is a bevel this is a bevel margin shoulder margin is a very very important 
shoulder is given in the magic where the bulk of the material is necessary like a facial surface in the metal ceramic restoration and full ceramic restoration in all ceramic restoration or tooth color uh, restoration we have to give a shoulder finish line finish uh, margin it should be 90 degree angle from the axial surface to the unprepared tooth structure some authorities have recommended heavy chamfer rather than the shoulder margin one experiment study shows that the metal primer with the shoulder margin showed the less chamfer margin during the porcelain firing because of the shoulder provide additional bulk in shoulder margin there is a bulk should be used like the uh, straight flat end table bulk used this is the you can see in the second image i also in the first image there is a uh, this is the 90 degree angle so flat end uh, tapered bulk long tapered bulk used for this margins so shoulder margin is a less conservative than the chamfer margin this is a this first is the chamfer margin ideally used for the metal or the metal uh, uh, fused porcelain restoration to be used for this margin and this you can see the this margin there is a 90 degree angle this margin is used for the all ceramic all types of the tooth color or the all ceramic restoration material because of the here you can see the conservation of the tooth or excess amount of the tooth loss tooth prepared there is a minimal uh, tooth uh, tooth prepared in the chamfer finish line and more tooth prepared in the uh, shoulder finish line because of the bulk of the tooth or a material to be used in this uh, it's all of depends on the material to be used then the slope shoulder at the 120 degree slope shoulder you use as a, as an but as an alternative to 90 degree shoulder for the facial margin of the metal ceramic crown the advantage of the slope shoulder is to reduce the responsibility of the living supported enamel bevel shoulder it is a recommended for the facial surface of the metal ceramic crown where the metal collar is to be used beveling remove the unsupported enamel and finish the metal shoulder or slope shoulder is preferred for the over bevel shoulder because of the biological and aesthetic reason that is <clears throat> then the mechanical consideration the design of the tooth preparation for the fixed partial injury must be follow certain mechanical principles otherwise the restoration may become the distorts or may be distorted or fractured during the function there is a mechanical consideration there are the three parts there is a very very important there is a retention form so retain retentive form resistance form and the preventing the deformation of the restoration the first retention form the quality of the preparation that prevent the restoration from the becoming dislodged by such a forces parallel to the part or of the withdrawal is known as a retention after including the retention of the cemented restoration like fixed partial injury depend on the geometry from the preparation rather than the adhesion of uh, adhesion for the retention cement is effective only only if the restoration has a single path of withdrawal like a taper surface area type of preparation surface texture film thickness and looting agent taper maximum retention is obtained when the preparation have parallel walls this is a impossible to prepare a tooth is in this way a slight convergence or the taper is necessary when the preparation of the tooth less taper more retention more taper less retention this is a basic rule the recommended convergence angle is 6 degree 6 to 8 degree as i told you in before slide the facial and lingual walls are more convergent from the occlusal one third to the provide narrowed occlusal table so diagram showing the increase of taper or less retention here you can see the degree of the taper and the retention there is a less taper more retention more taper less retention 
surface area retention depends on the length of the path of the withdrawal or the surface area sliding content so crown with the long axis wall are more retentive than the shorter wall and molar crown are more retentive than the premolar crown stress concentration when the retention failure occurs cement found both two surface and the fitting surface of the restoration a computerized analysis of the stress shows that stress concentration at the junction of the axial and of the surface if rounding the internal line angle and uh, may reduce the stress concentration and increase the retention there is a type of preparation different types of preparation have the different retentive value mainly depend on the surface area then like a uh, molar premolar partial crown intracoronal restoration where the grooves and boxes limit the path of withdrawal so retention is the increase ideally the grooves are used used when the single crown is there because of the after root canal treatment there is a or uh, maybe the uh, tooth structure is less the always always give the retentive grooves on the buccal side of the patient in the lower molar because of the uh, the grooves make the single path of insertion they uh, not distorted or they cannot move <clears throat> then the fourth one is the roughness of the surface being cemented in internal surface of the restoration is a very smooth than the retentive failure occur at the cement restorative interface so the internal surface of the restoration is rounded a groove retention will be increased air abrasion of the restoration is better to show the 60% of the more retention material being cemented base metal alloy are more retentive than the gold alloy then types of the looting agent in general adhesive resin cement are the most retentive cement adhesive resin like the cement zinc oxide sorry uh, glass isomer cement then zinc phosphate or the polycarbonate a resistance form the mastication and para function activity may transfer the horizontal and oblique force of the restoration this lateral force tend to the distal this process is by causing rotation around the gingival margin rotation is prevented by the any area of the tooth preparation and the placed comp compression causes the resistance area adequate resistance depend on the magnitude and direction of the dislodging forces in normal occlusion biting force distributed all over the teeth in a fixed partial nature there is a carefully made with the properly resin occlusion the load should be well distributed and purely directed when the patient has biting uh, biting habits such as by smoking bruxism it may difficult to prevent the fairly large oblique force being applied to the restoration the preparation and restoration must be able to withstand the considerable occlusal forces oblique forces sorry geometry of the tooth preparation the tooth preparation must be shaped that the particular area of the axial wall will prevent the rotation of the crown angle and uh, similar demonstrate that the increase the taper rounding the axial angle tends to reduce, uh, reduce the resistance short teeth have less resistance form a complete crown a more resistant than the partial coverage restoration then the resistance form will have provide the with the groove and boxes it will have the groove or box particular perpendicular to the direction of the forces then the resistance is greater this is the preparation into the resistance and the retention processes by limiting the path of withdrawal retention and resistance increases a preparation with the unlimited freedom of the displacement is much less retentive than the resistance so you can see here the box grooves and the pin holes so when we do the grooves the path of insertion and path of displacement there is a single path of insertion 
in the when you are not giving the proofs there is a multiple path of insertion the resistance of the short preparation can be provided by the adding grooves so you can see here the importance of the grooves the wall of the grooves that meet the axial wall at the oblique angle do not provide necessary resistance the wall of the grooves must be perpendicular to the rotating force to the resistance displacement the physical properties of the luting agent the resistance of the deformation is affected by the physical properties of the luting agent such as the compressive compressive strength and the model of elasticity then a silico phosphate the zinc phosphate glass aluminum cement and polycarbonate then uh, zinc oxide is used the increase the temperature less compression compressive strength then deformation or restoration must have sufficient strength to provide it form permanently deformed during the function this may be the result of inappropriate alloy selection in adequate tooth preparation poor metal ceramic frame alloy selection less hardener more hardener then type 1 type 1 and type 2 gold alloy type 3 and type 4 gold alloy and nickel chromium adequate tooth preparation tooth reduction it is recommended that there is a minimum alloy thickness of the about 1.5 at the centric cusp and 1 mm on the non functional cusp the occlusal reduction is in the form as possible sufficient occlusal clearance is needed with the preservation of the much tooth structure as possible anatomically prepared occlusal surface give uh, rigidity to the crown when teeth are misaligned or super erupted then the necessary of the prepare occlusal forces occlusal surface with the normal distortion in the mind aesthetic consideration aesthetic is also a major factor which must be considered so before making a fixed partial denture initial examination is very very important to make full assessment of the appearance of the patient proximal margin placement of the proximal margin particularly with the media must be placed just the buccal and proximal contact area where the metal will be hidden by the distal line angle of the neighboring teeth the preparation follows the long axis of the posterior teeth and inside the tooth head of the anterior teeth with the buccal or lingual teal given the preparation the metal will be visible the facial margin special margin of the maxillary partial coverage restoration should be extended just beyond the occlusal facial line angle when the mandibular partial coverage restoration are make metal display uh, unavoidable during the speech the camphor is recommended for the buccal margin because it provide the greatest bulk of the metal the patient is not ready for the metal display then the metal ceramic or the porcelain covered occlusal surface can be made metal ceramic restoration for some principle are recommended for the metal ceramic restoration the facial tooth reduction a minimum of the 1.5 tooth preparation is required for the optimum appearance in cervical one third and inside the one third there is the oblique portion in which can be reflect the light which may noticeable so need to be modified with the special strain in the area labial surface of the anterior is prepared for the metal ceramic crown in the two planes in central direction 2 mm is sufficient for translucency because of the metal backing more than 2 mm is avoidable because of the hapto retention and the resistance form labial margin placement supra gingival margins placement how many biological advantages in the patient having a high lip line and during the smiling patient gingiva are seen in the restoration restored the margin and with supra gingival porcelain labial margin also called as the colorless design if the patient have low lip line then the labial cervical margin should be metallic because of the metal is not visible and have more adequate to then the porcelain then common error tooth preparation insufficient occlusal or incisal reduction lack of uniform reduction or the labial or buccal surface compromises aesthetic then in inappropriate proximal reduction which prevent the having cleanable embrasure space more reduction of the teeth insufficient gingival reduction of the accumulated 
finish lines then the failure of contour proximal surface to adjacent teeth to allow the sitting restoration conclusion tooth do not have a regenerative ability to they require the restoration they require preparation for the receiving this restoration and this preparation must be based on the some fundamental principles this principle include the biological mechanical and aesthetic factors they are equally important and not given much more important to the single factor when the preparation of the tooth then it will not hamper the neighboring tooth and the soft tissue finish lines is also important whether the bulk of the material required for the shoulder will be given sufficient occlusal clearance will be given supragingival margins is better than subgingival margins subgingival margins <clears throat> sometimes hamper the epithelial alignation but the anterior region supragingival margins not aesthetically acceptable so the subgingival margins will be given this is my references thank you so much